too few taxpayers. IT returns numbers remained as again how narrow the tax base is. More tech, fewer exemptions are needed. GOI's social media post said that 6.7 million income tax returns had been filed till 11 p.m. on July 31st, an hour before the deadline. To put the number in context, there are 6.17 million individuals with a PAN, of whom 4.67 million have also linked with the their Aadhaar. The number of PAN alertees exceeds the size of the workforce. On paper, India's potential tax base seems unusually large. However, from the practical standpoint of view of revenue raised, it is despairingly narrow. On account of pandemic induced destructions in the last two years, the five years between 2015 and 2020 are the best recent period of get sense of trends in the tax base. Only 20% of non cooperate SSCs in 2015 to 16 had an income exceeding rupees 5 lakh. Five years later, it had increased to 24%. But the increase in the size of this base that the represent, represents the potential of meaningful tax collection was less than 1% point in a year. In 2018 to 19, about half of the 58.7 million returns filed among all taxpayers showed no income. Therefore, the slice of the potential tax based that yields revenue is tiny. Corporate tax assessments give an even clear picture of the narrowness of the base. GOI's budget showed a corporate tax base of 9.17 lakhs firms in 2019-20. Of this, a mere 0.2% or 1,000. 1,843 companies contributed 69% of the corporate tax. It is no execration to say that the budget's performance is influenced by less than 2,000 firms. A key reason for the narrow base is the tax exemption window discovered by the budget as indirect, indirect subsidy to preferred taxpayers. A wide exemption window and high statutory rates have given India the worst of both worlds. To illustrate, firms with a pre-tax profit above rupees 500 crores had 58% share in the total profits open to taxation. These firms had an effective tax rate of 20.19% in 2019 to 20, when the average statutory rate was 34.58%. Successive governments have moved towards narrowing the window of exemptions but it has not been fast enough. India's direct taxes contribute a little over 50% of the total tax revenue. It needs to be more for an economy with a per capita income of around $3,000. The way forward is greater use of AI and a legal architecture oriented towards winding the tax base. Thank you.